This is a horror film, not the usual kind featuring haunted houses, creepy creatures, ghosts, or ghouls. The stars are people who could be your neighbors, ordinary-looking people conducting innocent-looking business in a business-like way with the ordinary machines of modern technology. But what you see here should be more frightening than other horror films, because this is a true story. It's going on right now, and you are the target. Your rights as citizens and union members are supposed to be the victims of this crime. Sound like a bunch of lunatics? Instead of gathering behind the banner of a candidate or an issue, it's in place, the ready reserve, ready to spring into action on an issue, support a candidate, even seek a candidate where there isn't one to suit them. It's invading public life at every level, working not only for candidates for president in the United States Congress, but for state legislatures and local offices. These, then, are the weapons in the new rights arsenal. Manpower. For it has learned its lessons well from its labor and liberal adversaries on how to organize and mobilize mass campaign. And yes, brain power. In fact, especially brain power. The new right wing has grown tough, pragmatic, and systematic in devising its strategies. Now let's meet some of the supporting cast. Reed Larson head of the National Right to Work for Less Committee, is a big-time operator with a staff of 85, a budget of $5 million plus, and an enormous direct mail operation once aided by, you guessed it, Godfather Richard Vigory. The committee, which now handles its own mail operation, sent out 25 million pieces of mail in 1977 alone. Enough mail, in fact, to earn it its own private postal zip code. This is Joseph Coors, brewer and anti-union zealot. His politics are as bad as his dealings with his workers. He's trying to break his workers' union at his brewery, and he's trying to bust all unions through his funding of the ultra-right Heritage Foundation. The weapons are the same, but the ammunition is very different. Instead of lies, we use truth. Instead of personal attacks, we use issues. Instead of hate, we use compassion. Instead of cowering in fear, we walk in hope. We have the collective strength to act in our own best interest and destroy the monster ourselves. We are the principal target of the right-wing machine. The film you've just seen demonstrates the serious threat to the labor movement and the candidates we endorse. A threat posed by the radical right wing. At the same time, the so-called National Right to Work Committee has announced 1,978 legislative campaigns for a compulsory open shop law in New England and in Idaho, Missouri, New Mexico, Montana, and possibly Indiana and Colorado. With a war chest of $8 million, has vowed that if it is successful in 1978, it will fight for a national compulsory open shop law in 1979. <laughs> 